Good morning, children. Welcome back to SBR online classes. Before starting the lesson, let me revise once again what you have learned in the previous class. Okay, children. Um, I was to see. I am uh, teaching this uh, lesson, the rabbit and the lion. Okay. In this lesson, I have taught you in the grammar part. I have taught you how to use the apostrophe. What do you mean by apostrophe, children? Before the letter S and after the naming word, there is a small symbol. This is known as apostrophe. Okay. How do you use apostrophe? We can use the apostrophe with both uh, common nouns also with proper nouns also. And apostrophe only we are using the singular form of the word children. Okay. Uh, in the last class, uh, I have completed two companion activities. One is companion activity B and another one is the companion activity 3B and 3C. Okay. Uh, two activities I have completed in the last class. Okay. Now you open the companion activity 3D. Open your companion book children. Page number 24. Page number 24. Companion book, page number 24, page number 24, 3D activity, 3D, okay, open your book children, now, see, see here, I am reading this, you keep finger on the words where I am reading children. Look at the picture, talk about what belongs to whom and describe them. Frame five sentences of your own to indicate ownership. What has been done for you children? See, here there is a picture children. See this picture carefully. Who are there in the picture and what are there uh, in the picture? You see carefully this picture children. What are there in the picture, children? Here, in the picture, four boys are going to school and one man is sitting there and one man is riding bicycle and the, the, here one picture is there, the parents are going with, her going with their daughter and uh, their daughter is holding a doll. What did children? Can you see these all pictures? Okay, children? Now, See here, what they have given in the question children. See, look at the picture, talk about what belongs to whom and describe them. Describe them. See, they have given pictures and they are, they are all, uh, the all people having one thing uh, with them. See, describe them. Frame five sentences of your own to indicate ownership. One has been done for you. These all, can you see these all picture? See now, what they have given, for example, here, the girl's doll looks like a cat. Here, one girl is going with their parents. The girl is holding one doll. That girl's doll looks like a cat. Okay? The girl's doll is looking, looks like a cat, no children? The, the cat, sorry. The doll belongs to who? The doll belongs to this girl. Okay. The doll belongs to this girl. The girl's doll looks like a cat. Remember to, in the, you should frame five sentences. In that sentence, you should remember to use the apostrophe S. Means that is indicating ownership. Okay, children. Alright, now second one, what you can see children, first one they have given, the girl's doll looks like a cat. Now second, what you can see in the picture, boys are there, one person is sitting there and another person is riding bicycle. Can you see these all pictures? Hmm. What you can write to? And uh, can you see the first part, the cobbler, cobbler is the queen's cobbler. Means what can you do? The cobblers repair your slippers and shoes and he'll polish your shoes also. He is a cobbler. 
cobbler is sitting there on the road, uh, side of the road and can you see this cobbler is sitting with his two children what you can write those are cobbler's tools you can write those are cobbler's tools also you can write otherwise the cobbler's tools are new you can write second one what you can write be ready with your pencil and write down in your companion book children already the one example they have given how first one you should write the cobbler cobbler apostrophe s cobbler tools are new tools tools are new and next what you can see in the picture see see the picture carefully what you can see going to school they have had, the boys are having different colors of bag first boy bag is a what red color second boy's bag is a purple color and third boy's bag is a yellow color and the fourth boy bag is a green color okay what you can write i can now i am going to write the last boy's bag is green in color okay children the which color are in the last boy's bag the last boy's bag is green in color second one you want to think and write children what you can see in the picture remember to use the apostrophe with now children the last boys that is green in color okay full stop the last boys that is green in color because the bag belongs to the green bag belongs to the last boy okay particular the color that the green color particular that last boys bag that is okay now there are four can see children the first boys bag is looks like a not children yeah the first boys is having which color of bag red color now you can write the first boys red bag the first boys red bag looks nice okay which color having the, the first boy the first boys red bag because first boy is having a red color bag that's why the red bag belongs to the first boy okay the first boys red bag looks nice now what you can see let's to see children what you can see in the first boy over and the last boy cobbler also you can see cobbler with sitting with his tools okay on the x what you can see you can see one man is riding bicycle no you can write the man bicycle has a back seat the man's cycle has a back seat okay children what you can see the man is riding bicycle the man's bicycle this cycle belongs to who this man okay this cycle belongs to man the man's cycle has a back seat now next what you can see picture boy over the cobbler over this sentence and the man also and next parents are going with the daughter and what you can write the girl's doll you first already they have given the girl's doll looks like a cat now you can write the girl's doll looks cute no the the girls 
dal looks cute okay you can learn your own sentences also children i have written these sentences if you have any idea you can write your own sentences but remember to use apostrophe in the sentences where i have used children the last first one the popular tools are new the second one the last boys that is green in color means the green that belongs to this last boy okay the first boys red bag looks nice this red bag belongs to the first boy okay the man cycle has a back seat okay this cycle belongs to the man and okay. the girl's doll looks cute the doll belongs to this girl okay this one understood children i have completed these four activities now you come back to studio i give you two minutes for writing this children write it in your companion book now after this come back to your studio page number 49 children page number 49 Okay, children. Shall I read this? I hope you have written this. Shall I read? Now come back to your studio. Page number forty-nine. Page number forty-nine, children. Come back to your studio. Page number forty-nine, children. Open your my studio. Page number forty-nine. Page number forty-nine. Open children. Open children. Shall I read? Keep finger on the word children and be ready with your pencil. See here. Look at the pictures of famous fairy tale and comic book characters. Name them. Match the pictures with the objects. They are usually associated with. See here, children. Look at the picture of famous fairy tale and comic book characters. Here I have given some famous fairy tale and comic book characters. See what is fairy? Fairy means if you she will appear uh, suddenly and she will ask you uh, some wishes. If you ask for her wishes, she will. Fulfill your wish. Got it? And she has a magic. Uh, sorry, she has a magic stick with her. I think you have seen in the TV series. Okay, okay, children. See what they have given. See here. Look at the picture of famous fairy tale and comic book character. See here they have given. See here what is the first one? Can you see? Can you see these all pictures? See the pictures carefully. See here, I have one chart. See here. See what you have. See in the picture what you have seen. First one. I think you know this man. Who is he? He is a superman. Okay, he is a very powerful man, children. And yes, uh, here the letter S written on his chest. Okay, and he he is having a K on his back, children. He is having a cape on his back, and with the help of this cape, he can fly. Who is he? He is a Superman. Write his name. Superman. Super 
man he is a superman children okay and next character who is she children she is a cinderella uh, you have seen in the cartoon serial or in the picture you have heard the story of children uh, sorry cinderella children what a uh, story about the children you heard the story of about cinderella what was the story the story about uh, shoe children cinderella story about shoe and uh, next character she is a cinderella who is she she is right in your book children they have given blanks on see here in the picture uh, see here uh, For the Superman, there is a one blank is there. You should write Superman. And next one, write down their names. She is Cinderella. She is a Cinderella. Next one, can you guess who is he, children? Can you guess who is he? He is. You might be knowing all the characters. One of them is. A batman he is a batman children and how will be he how can you how is he he is very always mask on his face and he is also having cape this is cape back side what he is wearing no he is this is a cape he is also wearing cape on his back this he is a batman the third picture Easily, he is a bad man. B A T bad. He is a bad man. Bad man. Okay. Now, next one. Who is he? Fourth picture. Children. Fourth picture. Can you guess? Who is he? The next character is about Pied Piper. See, he is the Pied Piper. i am saying about pied piper children he is the one of the character mentioned in the poem he is one of the character mentioned in the poem i he blew the flute to run out the rats in the city in that poem in the one poem is there mentioned this boy name and what happened he blew the flute to run out the rats in the city children he is a pied piper who is he p i e d pied p i p e r pied piper who is the fourth character he is a pied piper and last one can you guess who is he children He is a jack. He is a jack. Can you guess who is he? He is a jack. And Jack Beanstalk is the fairy tale children. It is for kids story. And it is a story. The boy named Jack. It is a, the story about the boy named Jack and his mother and the the magic bean. It is a story about Jack. and his mother and this magic bean okay which is the story about that who is he he is a jack write their name children first one superman second one cinderella and third one batman fourth one pied piper and fifth one jack he is a jack okay See children, these are all seen. They are here. They have given five characters, and they are having their own symbols of say, that object. These people are having their own object, and which of the object they belongs to? See here. Shall I read the next one? They are having right center. See, they have given name. They have already. We have given who are they? We have given the name for them, and what they do? They match their pictures with the object. They usually associated with. Match. You should match the pictures with their object. 
Now we are Superman having a what what symbol what object children see matching to the Superman has is yes symbol or his chest here he is having the S symbol on his chest children. Okay, first man Superman is a this is a shield. He is having the S shield on his chest. Okay, first one, magic children. Hi. Now second one, we she sees a Cinderella. Uh, the Cinderella story about what? The Cinderella story about shoe. Where her shoe children? Magic with her shoe. Cinderella wearing Cinderella shoe here. Match that Cinderella with her shoe. Okay. Now. The third picture we see is Batman. Batman, I told you how he is, how he will be like Batman. Batman is wearing mask and he is also having cape on his back. Okay, uh, he is a Batman's mask. He is always having mask on his face. This Batman to match on his face what he is having mask. Match with the mask. And fourth one, Pied Piper. I told you the story of Pied Piper. He blew the flute to run out the rats in the city. He, you should match the Pied Piper with the flute. This Pied Piper with the flute. Match. Match the Pied Piper with the, his object is a flute. Now, last one, now we have said this story, Jack Winston. Okay? Jack is having this magic beam, Winston. To match the Jack with his Winston. Okay? Match these pictures to their object children. Okay, children? Write the names of that uh, characters, all the characters names you should write down there that up and you should match the match the objects. Okay. Shall I do this? I hope you have matched this. Shall I do? Okay. And what is there next? See here, children. Huh. Here you have completed the think and in activity. You have written all the characters' name and you match it to the objects. Now, what is there next? Write sentences to indicate what the object is and who it belongs to. See what they have given. Write sentences to indicate what the object is and who it belongs to. They have all their the, all the characters have their own object. You should already match it with their object. And now you should write the, in the, the thing that object belongs to whom children. They have given, for example, this is Superman's. Sign. What is the Superman sign? The S uh, written on his uh, chest. No, that is S written on his chest. That is Superman sign. This is Superman sign. This sign belongs to who? This sign belongs to Superman. Okay. In this sentence, we should remember to use the apostrophe S. Okay, children. Now, shall I write the next one? First one already they have given. This is Superman sign. The second one. What is the second picture, children? This is who is she? Second one, Cinderella. We should write. This is Cinderella's shoe. This is Cinderella's shoe. Remember to use the apostrophe in the sentence. This is Cinderella's shoe. Okay. What is the next picture? 
Which is the next picture, children? First one, Superman flower. Next one, Cinderella. And third one, Batman. This is what is the object of Batman? This is this is Batman's mask. This is Batman's mask. And there's the mask. And full stop. This is Batman's mask. Now, next picture. What is the next picture, children? What is the next character? Pied Piper. Superman over. Next, Cinderella. Third one, Batman. Now, next picture. Pied Piper. Huh. He is having the Pied Piper having his own object. Flute. You should write. This is severe. Write in your studio book, children. This is this is Pied Piper flute. This is Pied Piper. Write down children, write down in your studio book. Okay, see here. They have given match the characters with their own object and you should frame, write the sentences, indicate what the object and who it belongs to. Belongs to first one, Superman. This is the Superman's sign. See already they have given Superman's sign. We see the Superman's sign. Next one is the Cinderella. This is Cinderella's shoe. Next picture, this is Cinderella's shoe. And the third picture, this is the third picture. This is Batman's mask. And fourth picture, this is the Pied Piper's flute. And fourth picture, this is Jack's beanstalk. Third picture, this is Jack's Beanstalk. Means the shoe belongs to here. In this sentence, the shoe belongs to Cinderella. Who is the owner of that shoe? This, uh, this shoe, uh, this sentence tells us to ownership of this shoe. Who is the owner of this shoe? Cinderella. And here, this mask belongs to Batman. And this flute belongs to Pied Piper. And this beanstalk belongs to who? Jazz. Okay? This object belongs to who? Okay? I hope you have written children. Now open the page number. Next, turn the page number 50. Page number 50. Page number 50. Shall I have this children? Page number 50. Page number 50. Page number 50. Open the page number 50, children. See here. Design another C. Keep finger on the word. Design another favorite position for any two of the comic book. Characters given previously. 
draw them here and name them. See, already you have seen in the previous, there are five characters are there. See, now you should draw the any two of characters here, children. You should draw any, you are choose yourself and draw here any two characters and write their names. I will give you homework for you children. This is homework or homework for you children. Page number 15. Here is, they have given place here. In the box, you should draw. You should draw any two characters of your choice. That is left on your children. Choose any two characters and write their name children. Okay, I'll give you form for or homework for you children. Okay. Now, I hope children, you have understood this activity, companion activity 3D and these uh, characters belongs to whom and the characters having their own object. I hope you have understood. Okay, we will meet you in the next class.